The Environmental Protection Agency is always focused on protecting the environment, of course, and that's why the agency is proud to announce new air quality standards. But tonight, meteorologist Caitlin McGrath joins us with a look at what's changing and how the new ruling could really save some lives. Yeah, now this is a little complex, so bear with me here. We're talking about particulate matter 2.5, a particle smaller than the width of a human hair, a pollutant so small it can bypass our noses and throats, get into our lungs and eventually our bloodstream. Whether it's it's pregnant women and babies to um, uh, elderly people, PM 2.5 is uh, impacts on the health of all of us. Jerome Paulson, a pediatrician and member of the Virginia Clinicians for Climate Action, explains that for adults, exposure means the risk of heart attacks and strokes. In children, it can cause asthma attacks. And for pregnant women, it can result in premature birth and smaller than normal delivery sizes. The APA lowered the allowable limit for annual PM 2.5 levels from 12 micrograms per cubic meter to nine, which experts say is a significant reduction, but still well above the World Health Organization's recommended annual limit of five micrograms per cubic meter. The EPA estimates that the tighter standards will prevent around 4,500 premature deaths per year by 2032 and prevent roughly 800,000 asthma related emergency room visits. They also estimate the lower pollution could reduce health care costs by around $46 billion in that same time frame. By regulating PM 2.5, um, this will improve the combustion that uh, continues to occur. Maybe it will spur some people um, to stop burning uh, for the production of electricity, for example, and move to renewables. But um, anything we can do to get PM 2.5 out of the atmosphere, again, these teeny, teeny, tiny little particles um, is good for human health. Now, this is the first time since 2012 standards for this particular pollutant have been tightened. WUSA 9 Weather Watch is sponsored by Morgan & Morgan. What I took from that was when you were talking about particulate matter, mm -hmm. which is smaller than the width of a so human So small. Hair. It's so small. It's, I mean, it's oftentimes referred to as soot. Also, oh, is that okay. really tiny, can just kind of taste it in your yeah. mouth kind of pollution that we see so often when we get that wildfire impact yeah, smoke. Yeah. We're all no stranger to it. And I think um, Jerome really put into perspective there how it impacts everyone. Yeah, I remember my sinuses were like out oh, of yeah. whack mm -hmm. yeah. when we were dealing with that, uh, yeah. the wildfire smoke yeah. before. It so. bypasses nature's filter. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> it just gets in there. Yeah. yeah.